Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So uh, this particular video is going to be about uh, online application or online notification which has came from BARC that is BARC regarding OCES and DGFS 2021 exams. Now these are very important notification especially for those who have qualified GATE in 2020 and 2021 and were waiting for some uh, opportunity or waiting for some job notification to come up. So this is one of the one which has came like just after this pandemic has hit. So uh, this is basically a good news and most of you might be waiting for this. So let me first of all tell you like most of you who are not aware about what is this OCES. So OCES means orientation course for engineering graduates and science science post graduates okay so that's the full form so it's a orientation course which actually bark conducts brc conducts once you qualify uh, bark entrance exam once you uh, qualify the interview then one year training program they take you into and that training program is called as oces uh, orientation course for engineering graduates and science post graduates so this is where chemistry post graduates or uh, msc from chemistry will be eligible for and this DGFS is basically uh, DAE that is Department of Atomic Energy, their orientation course for engineering graduates and for physics graduates. So for that chemistry graduates are not eligible. I'll discuss everything but basically for chemistry, MSc chemistry, this OCES is the one which you have to target on and um, all the details like everything important dates and other things we are going to discuss in this video uh, everything we are going to talk about in detail and what are the eligibility criteria how the exam is going to be conducted when it is going to be conducted so everything we'll discuss so do watch this video till the end also uh, make sure if you have not subscribed the channel please do consider subscribing it and uh, let's continue with our video now All right, so uh, this is the page. This is the page uh, where all the informations are there. I'll give you a link to reach out to this page directly. Okay, in the description of this video, you can reach out. Like link will be there. You can directly come up to this page. Now here you have to go to this important information and uh, go to this important dates. Okay, once you click over here, you will be given with all the important dates for the exam. So commencement of online application process. So from where commencement of online application process. So from 20th July it is going to start. That is from tomorrow onwards. And the last date is 7th of August, last date of submission is 9th August, you can read out all the dates. Online exam will be held between 5th to 12th of September, then your uh, interview is going to be held between 4th to 29th of uh, your October, uh, the result will be displayed on 21st of September, so these are the dates. And then the other details like at the end, like the last declaration of the list of applicants who are actually going to be selected for OCES is within the third week of November and those who have uh, sorry selected for your OCES is in your second week of November and uh, then the declaration for list of applicants who are selected for uh, DGFS is going to be on the 30th of November. So these are all tentative dates uh, you just have to make a note of it you just have to make sure that you fill the form within this date okay that's what it is. Now uh, on the same page if you go to this download and go to this advertisement now apply online is not working because obviously it is going to start from 12th of July so make sure uh, that you start applying from 12th of July right and uh, then you have to reach out to this ad like detailed advertisement so once you click on this advertisement from downloads you will get a detailed advertisement I'll show you what does that read about here it is I have already downloaded it so it's in it invites engineering graduates and science post graduates for this particular course okay so that's what it is all about and it is a recruitment as scientific officer okay so it's a recruitment for scientific officer understand this it's a group a post that's a very high post uh, of government of india and this is going to be through a, uh, academic program that is oces as i told you that you will not directly be assigned as a scientific officer but once you qualify everything you will be given through a uh, online uh, orientation course for one year for the science graduates means for MSc chemistry people and then for after one year of completion of that course you will be taken or you will be assigned as a scientific officer. So that's all the things which are given to you over here it says that a trainee scientific officer means the one who has covered this OCES for one year who has done this with 50% aggregate marks during this one year if you have covered it with 50% aggregate marks if you qualify everything then you will be assigned as a scientific officer in any one of these institutes like BARC, IGCAR, RRCAT, uh, VECC, NFC, BRIT, uh, HWB, NPCIL 
बी एच ए वी आई एन आई यू सी आई एल ए एम डी और डी सी एस एंड ई एम सो दीज आर ऑल द लिस्ट ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट और दीज आर द नेम्स ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट इन विच यू कैन बी अजाइंड ऑल ओवर द एनी ऑफ दिज इंस्टीट्यूट डिपेंडिंग अपॉन योर मार्क्स डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द अवेबिलिटी ऑफ साइंटिफिक ऑफिसर्स ओवर देयर राइट सो दिस इज वॉट इट इज बेसिक थिंग विच यू हैव टू रीड अबाउट इज ऑल द थिंग्स लाइक ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन आर देयर आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू रीड बिकॉज अ हेल लॉड ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन यू कैन रीड अबाउट एवरी थिंग बाई डाउनलोडिंग इट आई जस्ट गिव यू द हाईलाइटेड थिंग्स ओके द थिंग्स विच यू एक्चुअली नीड टू नो all right uh, the thing which is next is basically like rest of the most of the things are for your two years dae graduate fellowship this is for engineering graduates and for physics post graduates so for this chemistry graduates are not eligible for or chemistry msc chemistry people are not eligible for this so that's what is dgfs so that for that you are not eligible you are eligible for chemistry people you are eligible for oces okay so there is a table okay there is a table in which all the things are given so for chemistry the discipline code is 42 and uh, here the eligibility are like msc in chemistry with physics up to bsc now understand those who have taken physics up to bsc or at subsidiary or uh, ancillary level okay in case of five year integrated msc so if you have done five year integrated msc then initially you should have physics in your course and if you are msc chemistry you should have physics up to bsc okay those who are not having physics those who are not having physics as their subject they are not uh, going to apply as chemistry as a subject okay so you might be if you ha don't have physics then you might be having zoology or botany as a subject right in that case you are eligible for biosciences discipline code for that is 43 okay so you can read out any two of them so you might belong to either 42 or 43 and and it says that mathematics as at standard 12th or at bsc or at subsidiary level means you should have maths at class 12th level uh, or at bsc level so if you have physics chemistry maths at the bsc level or if you have maths even at the 12th level in bsc let's say you have taken physics chemistry and some other subject then also you are eligible right so you should have at least you should have maths up till class 12th and at least you should have physics up till class bsc that's what makes you eligible for applying through the chemistry discipline all right now it says that with minimum of 60% aggregate marks in msc so you should have 60% marks in chemistry all candidates other than those applying for M five year integrated msc must additionally have a minimum of 60% aggregate marks in bsc as well so those who are uh, like those who are in integrated msc for them this is not applicable because obviously they don't have their mark sheet separate for the bsc right so for them only msc mark sheet is uh, uh, like is acceptable but those who are uh, like who have done bsc and msc separately for them 60% marks in bsc plus 60% marks in msc that's what is the minimum minimum eligibility along with physics in bsc at least physics up till bsc and at least mathematics up till class 12th okay applicant opting to be considered on the basis of gate score should have valid gate 2020 or gate 2021 score card uh, so uh, there are two like there, there are two ways to apply one is through gate and one is without gate okay through the online exam and all so you can either apply through gate uh, if you have uh, got good rank in gate then you can apply through gate and in that case you should have a valid gate 2020 or gate 2021 score card so if you have any of these score card in chemistry you can apply through gate in case if you don't have okay if you if you are not applying through gate then in that case this is not applicable all right so you can either apply through gate let's say in gate you were not having good rank or let's say in gate you have not qualified or let's say you have not appeared in the gate exam in that case you can apply without gate as well okay so that's what it is while filling the form these things will be clear to you okay so right now i'm just giving you initial information a initial uh, notification about it later on if you will ask i'll let you know that how the form will, is going to be filled all the details i'll tell you over there okay there is one more post that is for the uh, for radiological safety and environmental sciences r s e s its code is 44 for this also the chemistry graduates are eligible now see here that be btech in nuclear engineering slash nuclear technology slash nuclear uh, science and technology with minimum 60% aggregate marks in msc in physics or chemistry with physics uh, and chemistry up to bsc or at subsidiary level all right uh, so these are the things which are actually required over here so you can see over here that it says that rses is an additional training scheme option two applicants belonging to nuclear engineering physics and chemistry discipline right that means those who belong to code number 29 41 and 42 and hence there will not be a separate screening test for the selection interview so this is just a additional uh, like you can say additional post which you have or additional stream which you have apart from chemistry which chemistry graduate can apply on 
so you will not have any separate interview or a separate screening test for that a single screening test will be there if you qualify it depending upon the availability of seat you might be given radiological safety department or you might be given this rses course or you might be given for the chemistry so it depends upon that all right the next thing which we have to see is this table now in this table uh, they have given you eligible discipline at the bar training institute so how much disciplines uh, they have so they have given you all these uh, like uh, yeah so all about this code uh, like codes are there right so for chemistry the code is 42 for radiological safety as i told you you are eligible for this also the code is 44 these are the codes which are given to you against uh, this particular subject now the thing next is says that the candidate belonging to chemistry discipline selected for the bar training school at mumbai will be allotted either chemistry or r s e s as their training schemes and those selected for training school at IGCSR will pursue nuclear physical science chemistry in the training school. So they have said they have explained you that those who belong to chemistry they can be either given Bark training institute or they can be given as RSES as I told you uh, as the student as the candidate is eligible for both of them right. Now radiological safety and environment is, uh, science that is RSES is not a separate discipline but an additional training scheme. Uh, option for candidates in physics chemistry and nuclear engineering uh, this thing is repeated once again which i just told you right so this is about it now um, all the other informations are here like for all the different uh, like for all the different uh, like uh, you can say streams right so those all the things are given over here you don't have to worry about it just i am just telling you the basic things which you need to know so you must be a citizen of India and uh, you must uh, like if you belong to any of the candidate like any of the reserved uh, category you should have a certificate valid certificate for that right. Now how to apply only online application will be accepted candidates are required to visit the website the website is here in the period from 12th July to August 7th and submit online application by following instruction therein right candidates are advised to read the information brochure before applying so that's what it is all right so uh, this is just an initial you can say just a overview which i have given to you there is a lot of information which is given over here in this and you can read out about it if you have any doubt in any point or anywhere where you are thinking that uh, that thing i am not able to understand you just you can ask me i have told you from the chemistry point of view for the other things also you can read about it okay so see here it says that the grade and pay scale so there are different pay scales which are given over here you can read about how much amount they are going to pay for what scale okay or for what level scientific officer so you can read about all of these things over here in this all right so this is all for this video i guess right so you can uh, read out this particular advertisement you can check it out uh, from uh, your uh, respective pages download it read it and understand that what are the things required okay it's a very good opportunity try to uh, like utilize it it's one of the prestigious institutes um, in the india and um, that's what it is all right so that's all from my side for this video thank you so much for watching i hope the things were much clear to you if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment sections below and uh, i will see you in the next one till then have a great day Bye bye